Red Ted Art. Guess what we have for you today? A different sort of bookmark to what we normally make here in Red Ted Art. A little bunny and Easter egg bookmark. I think it's super cute, super fun to make. Now, just to say quickly, this was inspired by a website called Design for Yay. Um, she did some amazingly cute smitten mitten um, Valentine's bookmarks, uh, which I shall link below. So please do check them out. And that gave me the idea, actually, instead of the mittens, why not do Easter eggs and a bunny? I think they're absolutely adorable and they're really super fun and easy to make. So come on, let's take a look and see how they're made. Okay, so it looks like there's quite a lot of stuff you need, but to be honest, these are basic stationary items. So hopefully um, you'll have all of this and it's actually quite straightforward make. So the first thing is you will need a little bit of tape, you will need a paper clip, and you'll need some sort of string or ribbon or something pretty. I quite, I really love Baker's twine, I think it's really cool. Um, and it's worth investing in having one of these in your craft a stash. I can put information down below as to where you get that. Remind me if I forget to do it and I'll add it. Um, and then you need a glue stick, obviously, some card, different types, or if you don't have pretty printed card like me, then just color it, it's really fine. Um, and obviously pencil and pens and a paper for the detail. And you'll also need actually a tiny bit of pink for the bunny's um, cheeks. So the first thing you'll need to do is to cut out your bunny. Now I'm gonna do two different, well, not two different versions. I'll show you or I'll talk you through an easier way of making this and a slightly, you know, more um, intense way of doing it, if that makes sense. The first thing you wanna do is, is you fold over your card. I always like cutting out doubles of what I'm doing because that way you can make sure that um, the sides match up. So I'm gonna use this to create my white bunny. Now on the brown bunny, this is from a cardboard box. This is really good and I loved using this, um, but I thought I'd make a white one too. So the thicker you can make your card, the better. If you've got a laminator, you could sort of play around with that as well, um, but paper, uh, thick paper should work. So the first thing you need to do is create your bunny shape. And this bunny is basically two ovals. So I've got a big oval for the head and then a slightly smaller oval for the body. Now remember that the small, the body mustn't be too small because this is where you're going to be sticking your um, uh, paper clip. So you need to have enough space for the tape to fit and really stick this down. And so I think this is, is, is a good size. And then you put two little ears on top. I see it's I think it's a bit lopsided. <laughs> so two little ears. I almost made it a bit too short. They could be a bit longer, but I think that'll do. Maybe turn that down a bit. And then later I'm gonna rub out, um, you know, the lines. Although having said that, if you do, this is the double bunny. If you do the double bunny, um, it doesn't matter so much about the lines because you can just stick them on the inside. <laughs> have to be perfect I actually think that's quite cute and then you get your pens and add your details now that's your front your back of your bunny on this one I cut out a piece of paper and I stuck the tail on but again with this little bunny because it's a white one you can just color a little bobble tail Next, you get your safety pin, your safety pin, your, um, uh, you know, whatever that's called. You know what that is. <laughs> oh, my mind is going. Cut off a little piece of tape. And now the important thing is, is to put the tape across so can you see across that bit? Because this is the bit that you want to stick on your book, okay? So this bit there. And when you do stick it on, it doesn't matter if it overlaps, you can trim that off. Make sure it's stuck really, really tightly down. You don't want it coming out by accident. Now back to the simpler version and the harder version. Um, the original, the one that I uh, was inspired by, she didn't actually have two sides um, on her heart. 
she only she left the bunny like well not left the bunny but she left her design just like this so you could just sellotape it onto one piece one punt bunny you don't have to glue the two sides together like we're going to do today um but i quite like the idea of having kind of like a front and a back but to be honest either way is cute i think you can have just a front just a back or like today you know if you've got the time and the inclination you can uh, do a front and a back it just means it takes a tiny bit longer and you have to let it dry but you could just do the one so because of the the pin not the pin but I'm just gonna paper clip because of the paper clip I'm just gonna have to push this down whilst it's drying okay that's the first half. In fact, that could be a bookmark in itself. It's really cute. But now it comes to the second part. So because this is an Easter bunny, I want to create the Easter eggs. Now I've got this pretty paper that you're familiar with. Um, I know not everybody has paper like this. So really it's a question of just using what you've got and um, creating you know, your own egg, Easter egg. So you can get white paper and just color it. I'm just gonna cut a strip out. But because I have it, I just think, why not? Okay, so fold it over. Now, if you're not confident in freehand cutting, draw an egg shape first. Uh, I've got lots of practice, so I'm going to just take the risk, although I'm not always that neat either, and um, cut like an overly egg shape. And I've cut two at the same time. So here they are. I'm going to turn them around because I want one egg that side, one egg that side. And then I'm going to repeat the same with this one. So this should be all right now. We might have to add a bit more glue in a minute. Get your string. Like, fold it in half. Then take the loop. Push it through. See the loop? and then take these two ends and push it through. Now you need to make sure that this is the right length to fit into your average book. Um, I'm gonna use mine as a guide. This looks good, um, but you can just get your book and have a look how long you want this to be and how far they dangle out. Now just, you don't have to do this, but I feel like if you put a little knot in each one, it'll just help secure it on a bit more when you're sticking because there's sort of something for the glue to hold. So I'm just putting an extra little knot on. And then I'm gonna trim it. And now you have a choice. You can either take one egg and sellotape it on and you're finished. Or like I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna take both eggs. I'm gonna use some glue. And I'm gonna glue it together. And again, because of the little bump in the string, you might want to have a clothes peg just to help hold it in place whilst it dries. And then the same here. Now, if you've got a pattern, make sure the pattern's pointing the right way. Put this down. And there you have it. Your adorable Easter bookmarks finished. So we're just gonna let these dry and then take another look at the end. Okay, so the moment of truth. Let's have a look. So carefully take that off. Open up our eggs and there we go. You've got your adorable bookmark. Aren't they so cute? I love that the eggs are different on each side. And now let's take a look and see what it looks like in our book. Let's have a page look. We have our chick bookmark in there, aren't we good? But anyway, let's find a new page. We pop this in like this put this behind and there we go oh i did these ones a bit too oh, almost a bit too short let's see if the other ones are longer there you see listen to me measure your uh pieces of string better pop it in here we go this works really well and there you have it you have your bunny at the top and your easter eggs at the bottom now another thing i just noticed is how you put your paper clip how you glue it down so if i put it this way it fits really neatly 
This one I need to kind of squish the other way around. I had it going the other way. There we go. And there you have your paper clip. So I did one a bit too short, but that's okay. We can still use it. And the other one's nice and long. And that's it. Your adorable bunny bookmarks are all ready for Easter. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And of course, we'd love to see you here again soon. Take care. Bye.